Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The Lunar New Year has just begun a couple of days ago, but it gets a little less festive as the years go by. We used to celebrate it on a larger scale when my grandparents were around. Even though my maternal and paternal grandmother would bicker till the eve of the celebration due to their different heritage. My maternal grandma would try to dress me in a cheong sum, while my paternal one insists that I wear a hanbok, especially the first day. My mom would try to be a peacemaker and suggest coin slipping, while my dad once joked, relax omonis, we're in America, she'll be fine in jeans and a red t-shirt, which obviously did not bode well with both my grandmothers, and he got himself into a long lecture about culture and sticking to our roots. But it would stop bickering once the clock strikes 12. Apparently, it's bad luck to fight during the Lunar New Year, and they would be amicable as ever towards each other. At times, I would be in a pickle as well, because in the morning, we have to greet the elders, and I always had to choose who to greet first, and in their language. If it's my maternal grandmother, I would go, Gong Hei Fat Toy, and she would give me an Ang Pao. Whereas, for my paternal one, it goes, Se Hei Bok Mani Batu Seo, and I would get my Sebet Tun, which is also New Year money. After a while, I got a little smarter, or rather more systematic. Whichever traditional costume I was wearing that day, I would greet that grandmother first. They finally compromised to take turns every year on which costume I'll be wearing on the first day. Being in the middle and the only grandchild has its perks. They always try to outdo each other in terms of generosity, as in New Year money-wise. Once the day is over, they'll secretly ask me how much the other grandmother gave. It's a silent competition between them both, which I remain victorious either way. These days, it's a lot less quieter since my parents are both single childs too, and we lost contact with most of our relatives spread across the globe. Nonetheless, I still appreciate the significance of this period and spending time with my remaining family left. Anyway, today's painting is centered around wildflowers and bouquet. I've tried to paint rust for the first time on the steel road dividers for a more industrial look. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Today's wildflower is called Chrysopsis mariana, also known as the Maryland Golden Aster. Did you know that Aster is the Greek word for star? It is said that the Aster was created by the tears of the Greek goddess Astrea. One day, she was so upset by how few stars there were in the night sky that she began to cry. As she wept, her tears fell to the ground and turned into star-shaped as the flowers. Thus, the flower was named after her. I hope you like this painting. Hence, without further ado, let's begin. How I lost myself
I'm